Hey guys, welcome to Three Mississippi. Sid, Frankie, and we are fixing to have a storm here tomorrow. So we thought this would be a good opportunity to take stock of some of our emergency stuff and set up the storm shelter just in case. Just in case. Let's show you what we've got going on in there. shelter you back up so you guys can see the whole thing it's a nice little box right here um it's, so tall. it's yeah i mean it's solid cement here and stuff very echoey yeah um it's got a little like ventilation situation up here and there's a solar light that's up there that i don't know i haven't played around with this i'm imagining there's a there's a switch somewhere for that but i don't know anyway there's some lamps that were left in here and then there's an oil lamp right that has oil in it it looks like still which is good um and a broken lamp and, well, we have to invest in some lamps well i have i've got candles stuff. yeah so we've got this little thing over here with those in it um but here's some of the things that we're putting uh inside our little storm shelter uh, bunker situation here. Um, we've got, we'll go through some of these things before we start putting them in there because it's awfully echoey. So this is actually Mike's bug in bag. And when he gets out here, he'll talk to you about the, the things that he keeps in here, but we'll get to this one in a minute. So I've got an extra lamp in here. Um, make sure you know you've got fresh batteries in it. Uh, if you put this, in there or store it in your shelter make sure you're checking that because uh the last thing you'd want is to need it and then have it not work because you forgot to check the batteries for three years just something to think about um i do have a couple of candles uh in here as well as of course a lighter in here um if you've got some of those matches the strike anywhere matches that's a good idea to throw in there uh, we haven't quite finished unpacking all of our prepper stuff so we have them. He might have some actually in his bag. I'm, I'm sure we'll find out in a little bit, but uh, I did remember actually to put a lighter in here. We've got some bandages, some cleaning stuff, uh, an assortment of some different meds that you might want, whether it be for pain or uh, maybe antibiotics or things that you might wanna go ahead and stash with you, uh, you know, for an emergency. And then we've got a battery backup here. This will power your phone. Um, and you'll know you'll be able to like you know keep up on stuff maybe reach out to people if you need to just in case your phone dies or you're in there for a long time a little battery backup not a bad idea to have this would plug multiple different things into it if you needed to holds quite a bit of juice does the job i've got a couple a, a ziploc bag one of those space bag things with a few blankets in it that we're going to throw in there bleach wipes this also works for you know, let's say you just wanna, you feel like your hands are dirty, you wanna clean them off, or maybe you've cut yourself. In a pinch, you can clean <laughs> clean an alley out with this um, and, and keep it clean. Uh, it's easier than trying to use up your water supply that you've brought in there. Now again, if you're in the storm shelter, chances are you're not in there for very long, um, for a super long period of time. But even so, if things were to happen and you were rushing to it, uh, at least if you got this stuff in there, 
you've got some things you can take care of. So of course you want to keep some water in there, uh, in your shelter so that you have the ability to stay hydrated. Um, I've also thrown in some paper plates, some forks, some napkins. Um, if you've got some things that you're storing in there, uh, canned goods or things for, you know, for you to consume while you're in there, um, think about how you're going to eat them and how you're going to open them. So maybe put a can opener in there or something like that. Um, you know, you can eat beans cold out of the can. We don't need to get into like a sterno and try to heat them up. Just some things to keep you, keep you in there in case you get blocked in for whatever reason into the shelter. You've got some supplies in there uh, if you're not able to get out right away for whatever reason. Um, we've also got a bucket here with some toilet paper and some kitty litter. So uh, if you need to use the facilities while you're in there, you have a way to uh, make it not so unpleasant and to take care of yourself while you're in there. And then of course, another chair that we can throw in there uh, to sit in. If before you use this, this could also double as a chair. Um, you know, if you've got multiple family members going in there with you, you know, maybe a little cot that you can put up that you can all sit on or uh, a couple extra chairs, however you want to do it. But these are all the things that, that we've gathered that we're going to be putting in ours. Um, Mike's got a few things in there. Um, and also, you know, whatever snacks you're going to have in there, it kind of goes along with your food. Like I mentioned about the cans, um, any of your, your food that you want to grab and, and throw in there, uh, you know, things that if you're going to keep in there, make sure they're not going to be perishing quickly or easily gotten into by critters. Um, so you want to, you know, want to be thinking about that of course as well. So Frankie and I are going to move some of this stuff in here. And then when Mike gets out here, we will, uh, show you what's in his bag. All right, guys, we'll go over a couple of other things that uh, I'm going to bring out uh, in the event of a scenario. Some tools. We'll go over those in a minute. My, my bug-in bag, okay? I pared this down quite a bit uh, since I no longer have to drive, you know, 50 miles away from the house to go to work. But for those of you that do drive away, it's a good idea to keep a bug-in bag in your vehicle if your idea is in a scenario you're going to need to try to get home and maybe the, the freeways are going to be backed up or whatever you might need a, a bag that you can grab pull out of your car and start hoofing it home all right now like i said i've removed a few things out of here uh, for the purpose of a bug in bag to get home bag uh, you might want to have some tennis shoes in here i used to keep tennis shoes in here i no longer do but let's talk about the things that are in here and why i'm going to grab this out of the house and bring it out here into the storm shelter in the event of a bad storm, okay? I've got some dry clothes that I keep in Ziploc bags, socks, shirts, underwear. Uh, might not be a bad idea to keep, you know, a change of pants or something. Uh, I keep some cliff bars in here, all right? Food, you know, you might only be in this thing for a day, you might be in this thing for two days. You know, food is not essential for that time frame. really water is, um, but it's a comfort, you know, if you're in there and you're claustrophobic and you're wondering what's going on and you're worried and then you're a little hungry on top of that, have something to snack on. Keep your energy level up, right? Uh, I always keep some, uh, you know, some paracord. Uh, you never know when you're going to need that. Here's a big one, guys. This one's important. This is a wind-up emergency radio, okay? I can wind this thing up, get a bit of a charge, sit back there, got nothing else to do, I'm bored. Windy, 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 right? Uh, you can also keep batteries in it. And now you can see I got a light already from that wine, right? Uh, you can turn this thing on and you can, if anybody's broadcasting on emergency signals, you can get it. It's also got a flashlight built in. Uh, I also, speaking of flashlights, if you guys know me, I always carry my daily carry flashlight and my daily carry pocket knife, right? Uh, on top of that, I always keep another flashlight on my bug in bag okay you never have too many flashlights and have them available these are rechargeable flashlights um you know look into the the brands that you want speaking of rechargeable uh you're gonna want a means of recharging these right uh sid and frankie went over some of those options with you uh but be thinking about that okay um i've got some additional medical supplies and some ice packs 
and some antacids in here. Uh, just again, you know, for me, that's a comfort thing, right? I've got some rags in here. Uh, I always keep, you know, I, when, I, when I'm keeping a, a little Leatherman on here, along with a small carabiner, that's two different tools. You know, they can be used for, for multiple different things. So um, I, instead of just attaching the Leatherman to it, I put that carabiner on there because now I have a, a small carabiner for something else, okay? Um, again, you know, pay attention to the laws in your own state. Whoops. Uh, if this is your bug in bag, uh, whether or not you have a CCW or, uh, you know, might affect, you know, what you put in this bag. But uh, for me, that's a very important tool. Uh, I keep some, uh, I keep a face mask in here, a couple face masks. I keep a couple of trash bags and a couple of Ziploc bags that are clean that can be used different sizes of trash bags. Keep in mind guys, the face masks for me are not for uh, any kind of pandemic purposes. Uh, but when you're talking about a lot of dust and debris, um, it, it may very well come in handy. So I just always keep those with me uh, when I'm working outside or anytime I think about what am I going to need in a nasty environment, that eh, might be that. Um, so that pretty much sums up what I keep in this bag. And, you know, I pretty much always keep this bag loaded and ready to go. And uh, the idea is, you know, I just grab this thing on my way out here and, and bring it with me. Now, if I've got a couple of minutes, okay, to plan, I'm also going to grab tools, okay? And I hope that I have that couple of minutes to plan because um, why might I need a circular saw or in this case a side grinder or a uh, sawzall that I've got in there. Take a look at this metal door, okay? This door is a storm door, okay? It's got these latches that go in and you know the idea is that this is not going to blow open under high winds. But what if a piece of flying debris were to smash into this door and bend it, tweak it, uh, bend the, the, the posts, whatever. I might not be able to get out of this door, okay? So having side grinder, crowbars, you know, an ax, uh, some tools to, uh, uh, to help me evacuate should I need to are kind of important to me. Um, so that pretty much, and then for me also, one of my little hunting chairs, um, you know, these things, you can pick these up real cheap. They come in real handy. If you're ground hunting, super light, throw it in your pack. Uh, but also, I don't know how long I'm going to be in here. It might only be an hour. It might be an entire day. Set this thing up in the back, lean up against the wall. I can take a nap on this thing if I need to, as long as the tornado's not too loud. That's my thoughts, y'all. Thanks for watching guys. That's what we're putting in our storm shelter for our first storm here in Mississippi. Uh, keep a good thought for us. Hopefully we won't have to get in it at all, but there's rumors that maybe there might be a tornado watch. We'll see. Cold front, warm front, go like this. That means tornado. Yeah. It's right over Mississippi. Miss, miss, Northern Mississippi. Me, 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 me. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Maybe you guys learned something. Maybe you didn't. If you think of something else that you think we should add to our little emergency kit for just in the storm shelter, uh, we're not talking about our overall emergency prep that we keep at the house. We're talking about just to keep in the storm shelter, something that maybe uh, you might think might be a good addition. Let us know. Drop it in the comments and uh, we'll either agree with you or disagree with you, but either way, it'll be there in the comments. Have a great day, guys. We will see you on the next one. Bye.